seems yeah. to be music is a real yeah. problem. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we saw the older kids. Yeah. yeah. Music is, is good for kids. Nice. We, did, we didn't have one problem too the whole time. Really? Yeah, yeah, not we had one the show. issue. Yeah. But we had we had like five sneaky chaperones. Like we brought we brought a bunch of punks out from Halifax and like kind of interested, yeah. you know, sprinkled them in the yeah, crowd. No, and like, like, you know, they were, they were a little older, but they, <laughs> they still like blended nicely. Okay. Which was I'm like, like okay, you, you yeah. know, risk management. Okay, just do up your risk management plan so I know we've done due diligence, and, and I'm just going to turn a blind eye. I didn't even come to. Uh, <laughs> I just sort of stayed away. Let them it do was it. great though because the kids loved having like the older punks here, and uh, my partner is. The older punks. Yeah, and, and my partner is six foot eight and used to be a bouncer at a bar. So and he's like covered in tattoos and stuff. So he's like this big scary guy rocking out to metal. And they're yeah, all just, they they were loving it. Yeah, so I thought it was awesome. It's, have you yeah. ever have any of you ever been to open mic night in on a Grickless Street? Oh, I used to go every week. Yeah. So every you... week when I lived in Belfast. <coughs> I live in Dartmouth now, but um, yeah. D have you ever heard of Wednesday Friends Day? No. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> we Sounds about, all right. We heard about these open mics, and I was living in a house with um, five people downstairs, six people upstairs, and uh, it was when I first moved back to Halifax, and a couple of my friends worked at Homegrown Organic. So on Wednesdays, Big they Nick? bring home... Hmm? Nick? Uh, no, Celeste and Corey. Okay. Celeste, Cote, and Corey Kirk. Anyway, so on Wednesdays, they bring home all these vegetables. Uh, and we had way more vegetables than we could eat ourselves, so we figured why not start Wednesday Friends Day potluck. Brilliant. Um, which actually lasted over a year and a half and traveled with me through four different apartments. Amazing. Yeah, and I kind of wanted to do something like that here. It's just been busy. But yeah, it worked really well. Which we, we have already set so up the tradition music. of potluck. <laughs> yeah. um, ben Kaplan and the Casual Smokers are playing at the Arts Festival. Do you know who they are? Yeah, Ben's yeah. one of my yeah. good friends. <laughs> yeah. 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 So him and him and Julia. Are, yeah. 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 But we've at like our AGM we have an after party, you know, so sort of like in line of the Oscars after party. So we had our AGM, we had our and then we had our after party and our volunteer recognition and you know, but the after party was potluck. So, mm -hmm. you know, people and that's the second time that, you know, we've done an AGM with an after party mm -hmm. and and called it potluck, and people come out, and they yeah. bring great food, and it's a great chance to... Yeah. And our coffee houses here stuff. work really well, too, because I live in the city. Um, I live in Dartmouth, and I just go back in to pick up my partner after work, and anyone else that wants to come out of the city, I bring them out with me in my car, and yeah. take them back in afterwards. So it brings people out here that wouldn't necessarily be able to make it anyway. So. That's so good. And yeah. young people that who are from here, actually, who, you know are now living in the city or whatever. Who went yeah, to the school and even just school. want to come back and peek at what we're doing, come out. Yeah. For yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it really is amazing, like, how few people it takes to do something compelling that catches people's attention. Mm. Like, I was looking at, I don't know if any of you read Spacing magazine, but it's sort of like an urban planning type thing that started in Toronto, and a girl named Emma Feltes, um, she was doing a Spacing Atlantic blog that was sort of an offshoot of the main Spacing blog, just writing about issues and stuff um, in the Atlantic provinces and blogging on it and so on. And then they just did a national spacing issue, and because of the fact that she started the blog, now Halifax had a pretty neat showing there, and they were talking about best public spaces in Canada, and so f like through the spacing blog, they had you know five different spaces in Halifax that were listed, and like well, it it was public spaces in major cities, obviously, right. mm -hmm. and then, you know, there was, there was a, Jennifer Watts got recognized as being a pretty progressive person in politics, and, you know, and a couple other friends, like, had written an article and done pictures, and so it was really interesting seeing how, like, in this small little social group, how I saw so many people had touched this national magazine, and so it's really, and it didn't take that much, you know, like, yeah. it takes a year of just caring a little bit more about what you're doing and then I mean it's different when you're looking at sustaining it for the long term but it's like to get people's attention it's not nearly as hard as people think it is especially right now with the power of you know digital media mm -hmm. that's why I have such a hard time with tourism and promotion and recruitment and things like that of going out and telling people how great we are or like immigration recruitment and so on is because 
we're over promising and under delivering typically in so many ways like whether it's school or immigration or whatever and I think just if we put that amount of energy and resources into just doing interesting things the whole world would find out overnight oh yeah you know that like yeah instantly like it's, as soon as there's a good idea somebody has Facebooked about it somebody has blogged about it somebody has written about it like every journalists are starved for interesting stories mm-hmm. and you know if you just if people just did interesting things instead of trying to pull people in first then the people would follow and so it's I mean I think that's what's so great about here mm-hmm. is if people hear what there's there's a few women at Muscadabit Harbor who have just started building something in an old school and like, I want to see that <laughs> and it draws people's attention from everywhere I mean like we've been sort of grinning all day just like we, we walked into the bear's den and like we just met face to face this morning <laughs> we, we talked for the drive from Lake Echo to here and we walk into the bear's den and he, and he said you're going to like this. This is your kind of thing. <laughs> and it was brilliant. I thought, like, 15 minutes of talking. <laughs> yeah. So good. Yeah. We just went for a little loop down the road. <laughs> look at all these places. Like, look at that. Like, <laughs> like it's amazing. Yeah. It's a, fun, it's a funny little community. It is. Yeah. If you like good food, go on the tourist track. Just down the road a little bit. <coughs> tourist trap? Local, yeah. Local, organic, everything that they can, and uh, local artisan craft shop and stuff. Yeah. Best food. Oh, and well, way. one of the best inv- events down there you don't quite qualify for, which is Ladies, ladies Night. Ladies Night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. It, uh, but I think, yeah, int- just, int- just getting things going and integrating with what already is happening and then adding the technology as a support tool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. be able to magnify what we're already doing and build on it. Yeah. Really, yeah. And yet and then that helps redevelop redevelop the idea of cap and it also helps us to grow in the way that we're trying to. For sure. Yeah. I think the community radio would be a really good um way of um just getting out what we're doing to the community as well as the community being involved in it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, and also it, it t- there's a lot of literacy issues as you go further east down here and uh, so having another way to reach out to people that's not text based yeah. um, is very would important. Be really good. Yeah. yeah. We've had quite a few people mention that to us already that mm-hmm. you know, it's just not not accessible enough. Mm-hmm. For sure. Okay. Old school time yeah. speaking. Hi. So we should probably talk practicalities of the internship. We need to find someone. We're still yes. in the meeting. Got the email. Getting to give me a call as soon as she's said. Basic parameters. Is there anything else we need to know? Um, just did you? I send you all the payroll information, or just? The <laughs> I, did, I think just the no parameters problem. I got so far. I'm not sure. Okay. I mean, the payroll information comes after okay. anyway. So as okay. long as you've got those parameters, then it's really just finding someone that fits for yeah. you. Um, fit okay. is the most important thing. I'll tell you know, right it's, It does no right good to you. your program if you find somebody just to find somebody and then it's dissonant okay. or it's, it Would becomes babysitting for you. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, just find somebody right. that right that complements what right, you're I'll doing and then okay. find some way to tie it into CAP. Your Which kids want to go to chapters with your mom. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to go too, but yeah, it might not happen. <laughs> but yeah, so I think it's it's really just, I mean, going through the, the social networks that, that you have, trying to find somebody that would fit in whatever way you, you deem okay. necessary. Um, I'm still trying to figure out from Dan about <coughs> how he wants to, try, or if he wants to, you know, try and figure out a way to post on the HR CAP website. Um, that we have different internships available. Right. But it's, it's kind of a, an interesting thing, too, because, like, how to post it and be constantly in touch with everybody so that the internships are updated because some people will be filling in the next couple of days so it's a question of whether or not to post them when you're given such a short right. time frame right. um, so I'm just trying to figure out what to do with that and if that is terribly helpful or if it is word of mouth and social networks that are better used to find people especially like you know I imagine if we put an ad on the HR cap page 
is that really going to help find somebody that fits with your program and musk it up? Our experience it? recently is that recruitment and social networks works best. We actually yeah. had an intern for a national um, program, economic development program, and uh, she came down from Ottawa and things didn't work out. And I think part of the reason hmm. it didn't work out is because she wasn't from the area yeah. and didn't feel comfortable here. Didn't have any um, networks here. Didn't yeah. have any networks. Yeah. It started off with not doing anything yeah. in a rural community. She, I think yeah. she was well, and at the time, this was she was one person in this building, and she was feeling fairly lonely, sort of thing. So you need, I think, we found making sure for especially for a rural area to make sure that someone is from this area, if possible, or at least the eastern shore or something. Really, it's ideal if we can figure that out. Mm -hmm. well, you care differently. When yeah, you're yeah, you're more committed. Yeah, I think too when it's your own area. <laughs> yeah. 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 So is there anything else we need to know in terms of picking out that person? Just those parameters? Yeah. And it has to end by a certain date. August twenty sixth, yeah. Right. That's so. when I'm done too. And how many hours a week is it? Thirty. Thirty, okay. Thirty is yours thirty? Thirty five. You're thirty five. Okay. Thirty I think it yeah, I'll double. Was it 35? Yeah, no, I think you're right. So you've already started the actual... Yeah, yeah. places, different started. sites are different. Some okay. people started mid-June. Some people started even earlier than that, I think. Okay. But yeah, it's sort of... And, and yeah, because for university students, you'd want to start early. Yeah. And there's yeah. flexibility, <laughs> you know too. I mean, <laughs> to, to keep in mind, like, treat it as you have those hours to be distributed as you like. Um, there's the St. George's Youth Net group over by Uniac Square. Um, they're considering getting more than one person and distributing those hours, dividing those hours up. Right. So even if there's something like that, I mean, it's, it's really sort of at your discretion. As long as you can make a good argument for it, then uh, there's no reason why you can't redistribute as necessary. It's 30 hours. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. That sounds really cool. Mm -hmm. And it'd be nice to keep in touch with yeah. what you're up to. Yeah. yeah. I really like that podcast idea. <laughs> because I, I don't really have a voice, you know, being at the capsite. It's just like, yeah, I'm here at a capsite, you know, come on in. But how do I get that message out, you know? Yeah. And I think that's excellent. And to share all the different stuff that's going on. Because everyone that's coming in is only stopping in for a certain amount of time. They don't see anything else that goes on. And even, you know, like if each capsite created an hour of material and then a single capsite was like their project was to put it all together into you know this loop or this mm -hmm. you know a day a week each one gets released or whatever something like that yeah. would be pretty cool yeah because and, and thinking about what the different i guess the different sort of typical roles are that people could fill, like video editor is a, a job that can, you know, take up lifetimes. Mm -hmm. um, and so if there are people that want to do one thing like that, like finding, that's that's what I think the power of the network of cap sites is really neat for, is that if there's somebody that really likes video editing, mm -hmm. then they can, you know, if we can be uploading things and one person at one site wants to do uploading and cropping or whatever, um, yeah, they are editing and cropping and whatever, then they can specialize in that. So it's just a question of like right now as we're going out to the sites figuring out who wants to do what. And how to connect then, everybody. Mm. Yeah. Because yeah. that's, I mean, that's what makes CAP special to me is that it's, you know, it's not as much as, you know, we, we might be really excited about this site in terms of what CAP's potential is. It has the potential to just break down all the walls between the sites right. and just bring that stuff together. Seeking? So, yeah. yeah. No, it's not. Yeah. This is the old